Welcome to the second part of this video series, where you learn how to build and program your own TNC controlled quadcopter. In the previous video, you have connected your TNC microcontroller to your computer and uploaded your first program. In this part, you will learn how your TNC can control two external LEDs. During the startup of your quadcopter, the red LED will light up to show that the quadcopter is still in its setup process. When the setup process is finished, the green LED will light up, indicating that the quadcopter is ready to fly. Let's start this part by testing the electronic circuit on a solderless breadboard. First, you will connect two 100 ohm resistors to pins 5 and 6 of your TNC using jumper wires. The resistors make sure that the current will flow through your LEDs. Pin 6 gives signals to the green LED and pin 5 to the red LED. The schematic view of this circuit is shown on the right. To be able to connect your TNC to the solderless breadboard, you need to solder male headers to its pins. There are 14 pins to each side of the TNC, so cut the male headers to the desired length. Next, solder the male headers to the TNC pins. To make the soldering process easier, you can fix the headers in the solderless breadboard. Just make sure you don't spill solder over the breadboard. Once you soldered one pin, the other pins generally follow smoothly. Now you are ready to build the circuit. Add the TNC to the breadboard. Continue with the LEDs. Notice that an LED has a long and a short leg. The long leg represents the positive side or anode and should be connected to the resistor. The short leg is the negative side or cathode and should be connected to the negative bus line. Connect the resistors in series with the positive side of each LED. Now add the jumper wires to complete the circuit. Let's continue with the Arduino code to control the LEDs. All Arduino sketches consist of both a setup and a loop part. The code in the setup part of the sketch only runs once during startup of the microcontroller. As seen in the previous part, you can control the internal orange TNC LED with pin 13. Configure the pin as an output with the line pin mode and use the line digital right to give it the command HI. This will light up the orange LED and show that the microcontroller is powered and working. Use the same commands to control the external LEDs. You already connected the red LED to pin 5. To show that the setup process is ongoing, light up the red LED by giving it the high command. Now wait 4 seconds or 4000 milliseconds using the delay command in order to simulate the setup process. To indicate that the setup process is finished, turn off the red LED using the command low and subsequently turn on the green LED. The code in the loop part runs continuously. Because you do not write any commands in this part, the green LED will be continuously illuminated as demanded in the last line of the setup part. Now upload the new code to your TNC and verify that all LEDs light up in the correct order. Congratulations, you are now able to control two external LEDs. In the next video, you will learn how your TNC can measure a voltage.